welcome to Loyola Abroad. I'm your host, Liz Creed. This is a show about Loyola students' experiences abroad through interviews. Here I have Annie Boyle with me, a senior who just returned from a, some, a year abroad in Leuven, Belgium. Hi, Annie. Hi, Liz. <laughs> how are you doing? Good. Doing well. It's good to be here. So how does it feel to be back after a whole year abroad in Leuven? Um, it's definitely very different. I wasn't expecting to feel, well, I guess I was expecting to feel very different, but um, it's amazing how much my time abroad kind of changed me as a person. And it's fun coming back, though, and spending one last year here at Loyola with new friends. Definitely, yeah. And how did you choose the Leuven program? I know it's a year, mm -hmm. so that's very different from a lot of the other ones. Yeah, so I think um, a lot of people are intimidated to go for a year. Mm -hmm. And, well, my friends and I will joke that when we were going around to the around the world tables, we saw the right. Leuven table had all these, like, Belgian waffles out, and we're like, oh, those look really good. <laughs> so you're kind of attracted to, like, go to the program through that. But um, other than the marketing stuff out there, the program just had everything that I wanted in it. I could go abroad for a full year. Um, I could really be immersed, and during that time I could study and travel on my mm -hmm. own terms. Um, you're living in a house with like all these international students, Belgians, and Loyola oh, kids, cool. which was really great. And Loyola program for Leuven also offers going on three paid for trips by the school. Oh wow! So like, where do they take you? Um, well, France is one of them. So that's mm -hmm. usually just for about seven to ten days. You would go to Normandy wow. and see D-Day stuff. Yeah, and you're in Paris. Um, Amsterdam was a long weekend, and Loyola also offers to go to Italy in the spring with your program directors to Rome and Florence. Wow, so that that's was pretty awesome. Cool. So you yeah. hit up a lot of the big spots that a lot of people actually try to go to, and yeah. they actually provides all that stuff for you. Yeah, it was really incredible because we were able to see each of these different destinations the mm -hmm. best way that we could through like the history, the art, and eat the food and like have a great place to stay and not worry about the money aspect of it, right. but still getting to do all that you want to do. So it was great. That's awesome. Yeah. Wow, they really set you up there. Yeah, thanks, Loyola. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> So um, what's really interesting is the year commitment. How did, like, how did you weigh that out? And a lot of people are scared to go for a year where most programs are only a semester. How did you kind of like work through that? And what was it like kind of yeah. being there for the whole year, like the ups and downs? And Yeah, I think, um, I mean, for me personally, I love Loyola. I felt like I had good friends here. I had a place here. And I got excited with all the events that were mm -hmm. here. But to be able to say I went somewhere, not just for a couple months, I went somewhere for a full year and I really got to live there. I really got right. to know the language, the people, the places. And you know, you're going to go through that up and down level. Right. When you first get there, you feel all excited about mm -hmm. your new environment. And then you hit this place where you're like, wow, I really wish I could go home now. And you have that opportunity. But then, you know, that time when you come back from abroad, I'm sure you felt it too. You're like, right. I just want to go back. Right. And this program gives you another six months to just go back and do that. So I just really appreciated my time there with all my friends. So. That's great. That's yeah. something really important I think for people to know is that you can do the year-long program and in the end it's definitely worth it. I think so. Right? I really do. Yeah, because I mean you catch up with your friends and what you don't think about necessarily mm -hmm. sophomore year is that 60% of your grades probably going to go abroad. Right. No matter if they're here, uh, you know, study abroad Baltimore everyone jokes about too, but everyone's going to be gone and it's going to be different friends are back in the fall or the spring so everyone's having a different experience with that year right and then you know when I was abroad we were like joking we missed out on the best stuff we were like <laughs> oh no we missed out on like the national lacrosse team win but we in the, spring. In the <laughs> spring and stuff and but we were trying to Skype our friends that were like watching it right. so we were listening to it like I'm pretty sure we were like illegally downloading it online <laughs> trying to listen to like the entire live game so play it's, by play. it's things like that, but you know what? I went to Morocco, I went to Paris, I went to this amazing country hop where people, are, for three weeks, I just didn't study or do any work, I just traveled. And wow. I think that's an incredible thing. A lot of people can't say they did. Right. Yeah, so even though I wasn't here for, you know, a great Loyola Palooza, I was in another country doing what I needed to do. So I think it all comes back in the end to what you really want in life. So right, and you still it. have senior year where you can, you still know, still senior year, enjoy, yeah, all, enjoy these great things anyway, and exactly. share your abroad experiences. And I have a question. You did mention that you learned the language. How was that? I don't. What language do they speak there? Is it Flemish? Yeah, Belgium is kind of different because they're divided linguistically between the different right. areas. So mm -hmm. there's the Flanders region, which is Flemish, so that's Dutch, and then they speak French, and then there's a small little area that speaks German. Right. Yeah. So it's all different. We were like, okay. But how, everyone, how was that? Like, yeah. How, did you have to like kind of? Was it hard to get 
through all the areas of Belgium or did English kind of carry you through? Yeah, thankfully everyone speaks English. It's one mm -hmm. of the top European countries. Everyone does know English. Right. So that carried us through all the way. Um, but while we were there, we did have the opportunity to take some Dutch courses. Okay. So that was about um, a couple times a week for two or three hours. And we right. just were, it's so different. Like I'm sure a lot of other people abroad took language courses mm -hmm. where they realize it's a lot of um, talking and a lot of full immersion where you're speaking it and singing right. songs. And oh. we enjoyed it. Like we were <laughs> right. like, we just made it fun. Yeah, they know? made it fun. And I think it was cool because we got to really... Um, take a language away from it, and then when we would go out in the streets, the little Dutch that we know, we try and apply through like little polite phrases. Right. And they really enjoyed it. They were like, "Okay, thanks." <laughs> like, you just said thank you. Right. But, yeah. Yeah. It thanks was for nice. trying. And it was fun. I enjoyed oh, good. it. Yeah. <laughs> so you said you had to take two Dutch classes. You said. Yeah. So what? How were the classes there abroad? Because you did two semesters, so I'm sure you had to take a lot of core mm -hmm. major classes. Like, how was that? How, like, registering and just kind of yeah. applying them to. The school is called Catholic University, oh, okay. and at Catholic University, um, we have an affiliation program in mm -hmm. English called the PEX course. So okay. all of the American students from all of the United States that decided to go to Belgium could enroll in courses at Catholic University in English. And we were giving oh, okay. a list of these courses and their equivalents. And since Loyola has been there for so long, and we have a great program director named right. Crystal, <laughs> she, she took all of these and she studied them and she knows these courses what they count in your core or your major, and you sit down with her and your Loyola professor that's there at the time, uh -huh. and you're all set. Like, they're like, you're off to the races. They're like, what do you want to take? And you say this, and they're like, nope, yep. And here's a booklet of reviews oh, of wow. students in the past, so you can read it through and see if you've been interested. Oh, that's so helpful. Yeah, and you can add and drop right before, too, so it works so out. To sign up for classes, did you have to use the study abroad office, or did you just kind of do it like everyone else? through web yeah. advisor or did you have someone over there that did it for you like how did that work I know that's kind of like a very stressful thing to do when you're abroad yeah absolutely yeah. it's funny when you sit down and you know you're initially thinking of abroad and then you come to terms with it that you're like oh I have to do all the things I do here but in another area of, like right. another place time differences time and everything. differences and everything yeah. yeah so for picking courses in Belgium you sit down with the Belgian advisor that's in the Nakbar house so you oh, sit wow. down at the same computer with her and she goes through everything and she's like click this click that and you're done you're oh, enrolled goodness. in anything no problem and for enrolling in classes in the spring right you have a meeting beforehand at any time you want, you can make any appointment with the loyal advisor that's uh -huh. there, and he will direct you through your coursework and what your expectations are for graduating. And through that, oh, like wow. you get your study abroad time on WebAdvisor, you just figure out the time difference, and you're you're good to go. You just sign up, and I I had no issues. We were all fine. That's great. Yeah, it was really nice. So you got everything. You know, you came back. All your courses were, were filled. You're on track. I'm on track. They to really graduate. made sure about that and everything. Yeah. Yeah. So we're That's all great. set. And I think Loyola has this program, too, with the international office. All the students are kind of expected to right. know beforehand before you go. So they were very helpful. If yeah. You any questions and I was, all that. All okay. questions were answered. I was totally Good. felt comfortable with it all. Yeah. Awesome. And what I'm really interested in is I heard that for the Leuven program, they re you guys all live in a house together. <laughs> like different apartments and I heard it was just you know really fun you all got really close can you tell me about that yeah sure so Loyola has had bought this house um, and it's called the Loyola Nakbar house because mm -hmm. one of the owners was in partners with Dr. Hughes and they made it right and it's a uh, renovated old convent you could say oh wow yeah so it's really big it's very spacious like like lots of long corridors and stuff but there's six units and every unit has a kitchen and a bathroom mm -hmm. and through that you're living with about 30 Belgians 30 internationals from Poland, Hungary. Um, I think we had a couple of uh, Slovakians are here and there. Like they were just from everywhere. Um, so and you're all like mixed in together. Mixed in together. And oh, you get wow. to choose if you want to live with an international student or not. You can live in a triple with another Loyola student mm -hmm. or in a double like I chose. I had a Hungarian roommate first semester and a Polish the second semester. Oh, wow. Yeah. And did they speak any English or did yeah. you kind of have to? Okay, good. So you can get to know them. And That's the funny yeah. thing. <laughs> Sometimes you don't know their level of English going into it. Thankfully, right. the Hungarian girl, Anna, she was an English major. So she was fine. Oh, okay, good. She yeah. was good. <laughs> but my second roommate, who was Polish, Milena, uh, she had difficulty, but it was fun. We would sit at night and she'd be like going over English vocabulary with me and she'd be right. like, what's this word mean and this word? And she got oh. to share a little bit of her language with me too. So right. it was great. But all in all, the whole house comes together. You celebrate like all of the like holidays. Um, we showed them a Thanksgiving dinner. We went out to eat with um, Loyola. Loyola paid for us to have this big Thanksgiving meal. Oh, that's so nice. We played American football. Yeah. <laughs> we showed them the rules. So it's fun. We have parties and you go out and you 
hang out together in mm -hmm. Belgium. So right. So and then Leuven is apparently a big college, a lot of college students, international yeah. students. Um, like, what makes that such? like a great study abroad destination, especially to spend the year in. Because yeah. then a lot of people are worried about being in one place for a whole year. Mm -hmm. Like, can you tell me how like the nightlife is or the city life or just getting around? I know you guys, I think you rented bikes. Yeah. I heard. Yeah. It's kind of amazing because when I thought of Belgium, I think it's like anyone else, where is that, first of all? And why would I go there? <laughs> so you get there. But it, this environment is completely different from anything I've ever been in before. It's right. A, it's a great city town, but super walkable. And you can use your bike to get everywhere. Because um, bikes are treated, they're like cars, so you can oh, get really? around very easily on their bike. Good, awesome. And I never felt like I was missing out on anything. I never felt really? like I was stuck in one place ever. No, I felt like that's it, really important. I think was really to share important. with people that it's okay to spend one year in one place. Oh yeah, absolutely. I completely understand to. why that would hinder anyone's decision. I mean, I right. thought of that too. I was like, do I really want to be? in this country no one's heard of for one right. whole year. <laughs> and I was like, no, I got there and I realized there was a whole life to this place. There's mm -hmm. a whole culture that I wanted to be a part of. Right. And I could choose, with the year, I was super flexible to choose any weekend I wanted to travel with my friends or go away. And I felt like I would come back and I wouldn't have missed anything. I'd be back to doing all the social things right. with my friends or the Belgians. We hung out with them too, so. Lubin sounds awesome. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I wish I went there. <laughs> But, um, and then so you said you could travel on any weekend you wanted, so yep. did you have, you didn't have weekend classes or really commitments, you just, you would be able to travel. So like where was, well first of all, where did you travel? I'm sure there's a long list. And uh, what was your favorite place um, that you went to? Long list of countries, right. probably all the regulars that you can ever assume, like with the London, Ireland kind right. of type thing. Uh, I think what surprised a lot of people is mm -hmm. during your Christmas break, you study for your finals, which I know sounds very intimidating, right. and you come back and take them, but then you have a whole three and a half weeks to just travel. Oh, so wow. just wherever you want. Wherever you, you, wherever want. you want. So <laughs> we kind of went out there. We were like, we're going to go to Morocco, wow. and then we went to Barcelona, and then we went to Venice for Carnival. Right. Which I know that you got to we experience, We actually saw too. you guys and we in, saw you. in Carnival. Yep. Oh, my God. Which was so cold. <laughs> I don't know if I'd so recommend cool. going yeah. the first day in February, <laughs> but, but it was fun. You still have to go, though. Yeah, you have no, to go. Definitely. It's unlike anything else. It's, an, it's insane, too. Like, there's just, everyone's dressed up in masks. And if, even if you right. get a mask, people take pictures of you, too, because they right. think you're a part of it all, like, the whole act of you're it. You're in your normal coat, jeans, got the mask on. Yeah. All of a sudden, you're part of the community. Yeah, it's The culture, it's, it's great. Unreal. To be able to say I lived in the Medina of Morocco. Like, right. I'm, okay, I'm gonna paint this picture for you. So we didn't do, I did some research about the culture and everything and I right. knew what I was expecting. But no matter how much you prepare yourself for something, you just show up and you're like, oh my God, what am I doing? We showed up at 11 o'clock at night and it's one of the busiest live market squares in Africa. Oh, so wow. there's sneak charmers to my left, like monkeys, like oh on leashes Oh my goodness, it's like out of a movie. <laughs> no, really, and we still had to find our hostel in the middle of this Medina area. So we're going through like it's, you know, that amazing race or something. Like, right. This guy's leading us to our hostel. We don't know if he's leading us to the hostel Where? or something else. Right. <laughs> and through that, we found another guy that, I don't know, just the characters you meet along your adventures make it memorable. Yeah? Yeah. So where would you say your favorite place that you traveled to was? Or like the most interesting? Um, you can go back to like one place besides Leuven. Besides Leuven. Where would you go? That is so difficult. Because I think like every place we went to had like a very special memory with mm -hmm. it. Right. Um, I think the places I traveled that were the hometowns of people I knew were the best trips I went on. I know that you asked for right. one specific one. Right. Well, that's hard though. That's I understand. <laughs> <laughs> because we went to, um, my roommate was from Krakow in Poland. Mm -hmm. So when we went there, she was like, she gave us a long list of everything you want to do and see. And this is why it made it special for her. So right. when I'd walk through those streets, it's not like I was a tourist with my Let's Go Europe book. Yeah. Like, this is where <laughs> I'm going. And this is why it's important. Right. She would be like, no, look at this and look at this aspect of it. And that was the same when we went to Slovakia. I think right. a lot of people would be like, why would you go there? But our best friends were from there and they gave us just an itinerary of great things to see. And that's what made it really special for us and me too. Right. Oh, that's like a little personal aspect in the traveling. It's, yeah. it's amazing kind of what you come across. Definitely. Anything. So what advice do you have for students? I know the, the deadline's coming up. Um, yeah. Applying, considering Leuven, like what, what, like what kind of advice would you give them? Um, About I any say... abroad experience or whatever you want. Okay. I think, I think I'm going to think what I gained from it. I didn't expect to gain as much as I did. I came back knowing myself 
better as a person mm -hmm. and also my purpose and what I want to do for the future. So right. I think like as a sophomore, you're thinking like, how do I, am I going to make this great big decision of going right, anywhere yeah. and living there? And just think about what you really want. Like think about what you're doing right now at school. Like if you're taking a language, do you feel like you want to learn that language even more and that'll take you back there? Right. Or do you want to travel and see everything you can and take that time and do the year then? So right. That's great advice. Yeah. I'm sure everyone that's applying really appreciates it. And oh, thanks. We really, you know, <laughs> we thank you for sharing your story and your experiences. And um, it's not like you had a great time. Thanks, Liz. And yeah. we'll all have to go back one day. Yeah, no, we'll you'll go come back with abroad. me. <laughs> you'll come back with yeah. me then. <laughs> well, thank you so much. Oh, you're welcome. For sharing your story and reflecting back as a senior. Sure. And everything. So you're thanks. Welcome. Thanks, Liz. Thanks for tuning into Loyola Abroad. To watch this interview and others, tune into our HD channel 33.3 .3, or our website, graycom.tv.